we're gonna title this one Bobby Bueller's week off I quit my job a couple months ago and this is my last week I found a new job really excited about that so I decided to do a whole bunch of things in my time off I chronicled some of those you've seen them on the channel but this is my last week so I want to make it special so I'm on the road I'm gonna stay up in the Rockies for a couple days we're gonna fish gonna hike gonna go out to Rocky Mountain National Park but I stopped here to get some drinks but I just stumbled on a hidden gem we got a Sasquatch store here and an awesome country store here on the corner so we're gonna go in take a look inside but this is gonna be my week of freedom of unemployment and we're gonna chronicle my adventures as I live out my last week unemployed here in Colorado inside the country store I just talked to the guy behind the register he said there's a significant amount of Sasquatch believers here in this section of Colorado I love the big fella I relate to the big fella I like to be out in the woods uh, sometimes I'm a little intro introverted like the big fella um, and that's meant to be all-inclusive not to say that Squatch is only a, a male creature there's obviously males and females out there procreating but I just want to show some of the cool stuff in this country store and just this is the kind of stuff you find when you stop along the road and pop into these little gas stations and these little rest areas. Okay, so I'm here in Clear Creek County in the Colorado Rockies. Fun facts about Clear Creek County. I don't have any. That's Tom's job. Tom's not with us this week. He's at a pancake breakfast convention in Park <laughs> Uh So I stopped at a stretch of water. I think it's the Clear Creek. Uh, I saw this a couple days ago. Wanted to come back and fish it. So I'm here today. Don't really have any place to be. So that's the fun part of this last week of unemployment. Uh, no real schedule. No real timetable. Uh, so I'm going to go down and fish it. Uh, I have an Airbnb up at Lake Dillon that I'm going to check into later tonight. So for now, I'm going to head down here. I'll tune back in if I catch anything. But here we are, Clear Creek County, going to do some fishing. All right. I didn't even know I had this fish on. I was getting ready to throw another cast. It's another little guy. The little guys love me right now. fish tonight and I stand here in the middle of this creek and just really grateful I feel really grateful it's a Tuesday evening again I had no place to be today I just felt really free and I feel really good when I do these types of things so I'm gonna to continue to live my life this way I'm gonna continue to work hard to find ways that I'll be able to spend more time like that that's my goal right now and that's what my life's about and that's what I've learned since having the stroke and going through all the problems I had a couple years ago that I've talked about in another video. I just want to do the things I want to do. And I'm going to continue to pursue that. And I'm going to continue to share that. As I hope to inspire other people to go out and do the things they want to do. I understand people have responsibilities and families and commitments. But at the same time, you should be able to find time to go after the things you want. Don't ever have a bucket list. I'm really grateful right now, really enjoying it. I'm in the Colorado Rockies, just really happy with where my life's going right now. And I'm gonna take a moment, really appreciate it, but I'm also gonna go back and try to catch more fish. So for now, I'm out. All right, so I'm back down here 
at Clear Creek. Uh, I fished here yesterday and did so well I came back. It's pretty cool actually because it's right by this zip lining place that's closed. So shout out to the zip lining place. I'm walking through the property here. Uh, let's give them a shout out. This is the Colorado Adventure Center. Zip raft, 877 zip raft. Coming at you for all your zip lining activities. I'm gonna go hit this hole here where I did real well yesterday. A bet with the moose. I told the moose I was gonna catch 10 fish today and he got a little salty with me and said, I think he'll do all right, but not 10 fish. So I'm gonna go down, crush it, see if I can get a fish here right away and then give moose a call and see what he thinks about it. But I'm gonna get after it, do some fishing. And there's the first fish of the day down there. Got him. Got this guy just now. Got a little brown. Gotta get back in the water here. All right, so just wanted to wind up the day here at Clear Creek on a Wednesday. Had a great day, caught 11 fish, all brown trout, about eight to 10 inches, small, but they were eating consistently all day, so that was a lot of fun. You know, when I sit back and I think about my Wednesday, the stream's always open. There's no business hours. There's no closed for holidays. It's always here, the fish are always here. So it was a nice thought to take a step back and think while well, we're all at work or we're all handling responsibilities, nature and life just goes on. Now I am getting a little philosophical. So before I go too far off the deep end, it's been a great day. Go out there and do something you wouldn't normally do. Take a day, enjoy yourself, just go. All right, after a big day of fishing, there's only one thing to do, one classy move to make, and that's to hit the hut. Oh, it's hot, baby. Back when I was a kid, these places were the spot. They had the weird roof and, God, they were the greatest place on earth. Now they're kind of a bit dodgy. Fun fact about Pizza Hut, they started in Kansas. There's one in every town in Kansas. I don't know if we covered in that video, but that's my fun fact. I'm going into Pizza Hut and I'm gonna crush a meat lovers. So much for my diet. I guess we'll start that next week, but. Dinner is served. Pro tip, the salad bar at Pizza Hut is banging. All right, so here we are. It's another beautiful day here in Lake Dillon. Uh, coming off a two-day total of 20-plus fish. We're gonna do something a little different today. We're gonna go for a hike in the National Forest. But first, since waking up Tommy is everybody's favorite part of the video, and Tommy's not here, I'm gonna go wake myself up. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. Oh, Bobby! Let's go! Oh no, no, no. Moving real slow. Too much pizza last night. Oh, I had some weird dreams about being back in high school. Uh, moving real slow. So, yeah, we're gonna get ready, get the day started, but first let's take a look outside. So it's another beautiful day here in Colorado. Stoked on the view. Ready to get the day started. I'm out. All right, so here I am, Buffalo Cabin Trailhead. We're gonna go up, uh, the final altitude should be about 12,700 feet. It's gonna look down on Lake Dillon. I'll hit you probably middle and then at the top. So here we go. So I don't know how far up I am. I think I'm pretty close. Pretty cool view of the lake down here, so I wanted to check in. I'd lie and say I'm dominating this hike, but since there's nobody around, I'm sucking wind. But check it out, fun little trail up to the top of the White River National Forest. All right, so this is pretty cool. This is obviously a section of the forest that's seen some damage from the wildfire. I always find this fascinating. 
wildfire is a way of the kind of the earth refreshing itself if you will like hit and restart yeah. this could also be some type of controlled burn i see a lot of like that tree was caught so maybe it's just <clears throat> part of their efforts to fight the fire though but really cool section of the forest here All right, so here we are, White River National Forest. We made it to the top. Lake Dillon is down there. I-70 up and down into the Rockies is down there. It's a beautiful view. The hike was a bit of a beast. Didn't exactly crush it, but there's nobody around, so let's keep that between us. Um, I'm gonna sit down and eat my lunch. I got a Jimmy John sandwich in my backpack that was motivating me the whole way. So I'm gonna sit down, eat my lunch up here. What a better way to spend a Thursday afternoon then I think I'm close to 13,000 feet. I think it said something like 12.7. So 12.7 in the Colorado Rockies, enjoying this fall weather. Let's take a look at the view. You're not about that life. We run away. So let us up when we're low. Just chase the waves. We'll make it up as we go. If you're here. Down. I just want to get a shot of how steep this is. I didn't realize how steep this was on the way up. That's usually the way it goes. Wrapping things up here in the White River National Forest, in the Eagle Nest Wilderness. You know, after all, I think I did crush the hike because I haven't done the hike before. It was my first time doing the hike. Therefore, it's record time and I crushed it. So I'm glad we settled that. So it was a great day hiking here. You know, I decided I wasn't gonna fish today, but I'm getting that itch. So I'm gonna sneak off and go try to get a couple hours in right now. So. Off to go fish. Again, beautiful day here, White River Nash National Forest. So the paperwork for my new job got pushed back, so I got an extra week off. So for this adventure, I'm headed to cowboy country, Wyoming. Quick little road trip across the border into Wyoming to check out some ranch land that's for sale. Could be a swamp, could be some kind of scam, but I thought it'd be a fun little road trip. So here we go. let it hold me down. Also brought my mountain bike with me out to Wyoming so I'm gonna hit the Myers Cabin Trail with the Snowy Peak mountain range behind me with the Medicine Bow Peak actually there's a memorial here for a plane crash where 66 people died up there so I need to do some research on that and find out what that's all about uh, but I'm gonna hit it I'm gonna hook the GoPro up to my helmet hopefully I don't go over the handlebars for me uh, for you if I do it might be some good content National Forest uh, outside of Larimer, 
Wyoming. I'm here at Libby Lake and it's just beautiful here. Um, I get so excited when I get out to these places. I just want to see and do everything. So there's a series of lakes here. I talked to the rangers back down in town. A series of lakes here. I'm going to check them out. It's a little windy today. So maybe I'll fish. Maybe I won't. Sometimes you can find some nice cover to block the wind. But I'm just super stoked to be here. It's beautiful out here. This to me is the definition of living your best life. So let's check it out. Lakes on deck here. God, just a beautiful day to be out here. All right, so it's been frustrating up here. Lost a couple fish, but I just landed my first Wyoming fish of the season. And it's a beautiful brook. I was trying to show this the other day. So I'm gonna show you what a brook trip looks like. All right, this fish just blasted my fly. So nice fish of the day here. I'm up to like half a dozen. Crush it. I just discovered the most isolated little pool. As I walked up and around to the back corner of the lake, there's fish rising. I found a historical landmark here on my way out to the ranch, which is like 20 miles away. This is the Overland Trail. It was discovered in the 1800s by some badass who was a trapper, and then it was eventually used by immigrants heading west, as well as Wells Fargo, the stagecoach company, to deliver mail and carry people out to the west. So, super cool. Uh, take a look. out here so I made it out to the ranch here it is there's all the clocks are still in I don't know it's pretty flat kind of desolate out here we'll go in we'll take a look uh, just wanted to show you so this is super cool I don't know if you can see it but there's an antelope out here feeding in the field the GoPro is not really good at the long distance shots but there's one coming at me here, staring me down. Looks like there's an animal over there. Uh, but pretty cool to see these antelope out here, out on the range. All right, so now I'm at the University of Wyoming. Fun facts about the University of Wyoming. 7,000 students, uh, ranked as one of the top universities back in 2010. Um, Josh Allen of the Buffalo Bills played quarterback here. D1 school. Uh, big football program, so really cool here in Lammer, Wyoming. So I'm at the University of Wyoming. I just kind of walked into the football stadium. So I'm going to get a shot of it real quick. Pretty cool. College football stadium. Pretty cool. Let's take a stroll through the end of the street. Pretty cool. I'm in the end zone. Touchdown, I'm Broski. University of Wyoming. 
All right, so I'm in the University of Wyoming uh, War Memorial Stadium. Uh, Jonah Field. 7,200 feet is the altitude they have to play here. So pretty cool. They're out of town this weekend playing San Diego State, my old hometown. All right, so I'm gonna wrap the day up, wrap the Wyoming trip up. I found this observation point at the top of Medicine Bow National Forest. It's kind of like the castle in Kansas. Boy, I'm huffing and puffing, 8,000 feet up here. Can't breathe, let's check it out. Pine trees, there's a lake out here. I'm sure there's wildlife frolicking and romping all throughout there. But yeah, to wrap this one up, I mean, what a great day out in Wyoming. What a great trip out here. Um, really enjoyed myself today. I caught more fish than I could count. Probably 20 plus brook trout in a mountain lake. I mean, this is exactly everything. I dreamed of as a kid, just tramping around in the woods, fishing, hiking, enjoying nature. I never knew how I was gonna make it happen, but life kind of just pointed me in the right directions. And I took the opportunities that allowed me to go in those directions. These last couple weeks off have been a lot of fun. I think we're gonna wrap up Bobby Bueller's time off here. It's been fun. It's been a lot of fishing, it's been a lot of time in the woods. Next week, I'm going to take it easy, and then me and Tommy Boy go to Canada, so that should be epic. But really, you know, something I was thinking about today, my time is valuable. You know, your time is valuable. You only get so many ticks of the clock, and not to beat a dead horse, but thinking back to the time where I had the stroke and I almost checked out permanently, it would have been so cheated to not been able to get to this place and spend a day like this. So. Those moments are precious, don't waste them. If you have an opportunity to do something that you always wanted to do, seize it. I always wanted to take a little break. I was able to do that. Your time is very precious. My time was precious. I felt this time off was very precious. So I did a lot of things from taking my dad to a baseball game in New York, to spending time with him here out west, to coming out to Wyoming. I mean, it's just been a great uh, couple weeks and I really feel grateful that I had the opportunity to spend that time doing what I wanted to do. And again, if somebody's going to take your time, make sure you're getting something out of it, whether it's a job or relationship, whatever. You know, make sure that time is spent value. Make sure that time is spent well because it's valuable. So I'm gonna sign off here from Medicine Bow National Forest. It's been Bobby Bueller's couple weeks off. I had a great time. I hope you enjoyed coming along. We got more adventures coming up. So stay tuned. About that life, this is my life. This is my time and it's precious and I'm out.